How you doing? This is the guy from Pittsburgh again. I'm going on round three on John Hogue. And I want to talk about the phrase he used that really bugs me, injustice. You look up injustice in the dictionary, it says an unjust act. And if you look up unjust, and I have my dictionary right here, among others, but the ones in the bedroom are too big and heavy to bring in here. Violating principles of justice or fairness, unfair, archaic, faithless, and dishonest. Well, John Hogue, you've been unfair. You've been unfair to art. It's art's program. When he welcomes you as a guest, that's like you're coming into my door. And I welcome you into my home. And when I hear you on Sirius XM or on Coast to Coast, in a sense, you're a guest in my home. I've chosen to let you into my home as have millions of listeners. And millions of listeners on YouTube will listen to the replays. And millions of listeners on Sirius will listen to the replays in the original broadcast. You are a guest in our homes. And you should act accordingly, just like you should act accordingly when you're a guest on Art show. If Art tells you to cut your commentary because he wants to get call more callers in, he has to have the flow of the program. I know a little bit about broadcasting. I worked as an unpaid intern of sorts at one time in Las Vegas at the CBS radio station when Stan Lambert was on the air 40 years ago. I've been in broadcasting studios, I've been in TV studios, I've been in radio studios, I have some idea of how the process works to put a program on the air, which you may or may not be aware of. But you don't, to use a phrase of, of the young today, you don't diss the host. You treat him with respect. If you're mad about him, you take him aside privately in a phone call or an email. You don't, my mother says you don't air your dirty linen in public. You aired your dirty linen in public, Mr. Hogue. And that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable to people who listen to art. It's not acceptable to the people who have a conscience and a sense of honor. And it's just not right. And I want to tell you something else. This poisonable thing you talked about, that I'm poisoned, that I will be self-destructive. I'm 61 years old. I've seen stuff and had things done to me that should have destroyed me up here. And it should have destroyed my soul, my heart in here. But I'm a survivor, Mr. Hogue. I don't let anything destroy me. I've felt despair. I've felt depression. I've broke down sobbing. I, it's hard to admit it if you're a guy that you break down crying, but I've done it. I've been hungry. I've been homeless. I've been without food, without money, without jobs, without a place to live. But I persevered. And I'm almost tempted to say I did it my way, but I'd probably get sued for content for quoting Frank Sinatra. He was a fighter too, so was Patton, and all the great Americans who fought for what they believe in. Well, I believe you're wrong, Mr. Hogue, and that's why I'm posting this video. Now, I gotta say something about injustice, and gratitude, and anger. I'm angry at you for what you did to Art. I'm not angry at you so much personally. I think you went about it the wrong way, and you said, that I should calm down and I should be rational. I'm a Taurus of the temper, Mr. Hogue. When I get riled, I say something. I'm not as tactful as I should be. But I'll tell you something, if you came to my door right now, I had to put some clothes on. I'd have to wash my glasses to see where the hell I'm going because they're all scratched up. I really need new glasses desperately. But, I'd let you in, I'd clear off the couch, which is my bed, or you could sit in my television chair, that's my throne, and I'd go over and offer you coffee, it's all I got to drink in the house, unless I make you some instant IT, and we could talk about your email, we could talk about your appearance, we could talk about your books, 
If you brought your books with you, I'd be happy to look, take a look at them. And if there's something wrong in there, I could refute them or something, agree with it. I say, hey, you were right on about this. I got no problem with that. But you got to think of what you're doing, Mr. Ho. Don't put the blame on me. I'm a poor schmuck in Martinez, California. You've never met me. You don't know anything about me. You don't know what's in my heart. You don't know what's in my mind. You don't know what's in my soul. I'm not poisonous, Mr. Hogue. But I will not tolerate you being unjust to Art Bell, his listeners, the people on Bell Gab, hi guys, or anyone else who's into the paranormal and who's into Nostradamus and UFOs and all of those subjects. You're being disingenuous, Mr. Hogue. It isn't right, and I'm going to keep saying something about it until you correct the error of your ways and mend your ways, Mr. Hope. And I'm here in Martinez. You can find me all over the net. Just Google my name, George Senda. You'd find me. My address is even here, somewhere on the net. You want to come by, you're in California, in the Bay Area, come by here, call my girlfriend, try to do it on the first of the month, I'll even take you to lunch, Mr. Hogue. I'll buy you a beer if you drink beer. If you don't drink beer, I'll buy you something organic. Whatever the hell you drink, I don't care. And we, we shoot the you-know-what, talk about stuff. As two calm, rational men. Might get a little heated. But that's what happened, guys, get together. You see the arguments I have about football and baseball. All right, that's all I'm going to say. I think I'm done on this subject, but I had to say my third piece about your email because that's not right either. Poisonous indeed. That's a crock, Mr. Hogue, and I won't tolerate it. And neither will any fair-minded person because you're making assumptions that are not in evidence to uh, quote someone Probably Perry Mason, I don't know. You don't know a damn thing about you, Mr. Hogue, except what I, what I say and what I wrote to you in an email, a brief email. My videos make the point that what you did isn't right, it isn't proper, it isn't good behavior, and it isn't good sense either. All right, this is a guy from Pittsburgh. I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to go back to listen to the replay of art and see what's going on at Bell Gab. Talk to you later. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.